and welcome back. My name is Vanessa Blanc from Wild Woman Bushcraft. Today I make again a video from my self-sufficiency farm. Actually I'm really frustrated, really depressive and I'm really pissed off. I don't want to do this anymore because everything that I give away, my energy and my time, it is all waste. There is nothing left from my plan, from my work and I thought about giving up for this year because I don't have any energy for this again. So what happened and what my thoughts are, you will find out in this video. If you want, stay tuned. Ica is actually meeting all the farm animals, so they meet them of course every day, but they don't like them so much actually because she is afraid of some of them. So she, she likes to hunt the chicken, but she know that she had to have respect from the goose, so not every farm animal is happy that Ica is here. Can you see the chicken at the left side? This is the chief chicken. She is always picking the other chicken at their head when they are eating because she wants to show everyone that she's the boss and she had to eat at first. Come. This is fine, fine. You seid nicht der Boss, gell? Die Eika wird der Chef, nicht ihr. Jetzt schleicht euch da ab. I also had to show this two boys here, who's the boss, that not they are the boss. They cannot fight with the dogs. They had to have respect of them. Nah. 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 
Next step at the vegetable garden. When you look into my garden you see everything is covered with green but when you take a closer look you can see that it is a full disaster. This is the male flower from a pumpkin and you can eat the flowers from the pumpkin and the zucchini. You can fry them or eat it in the salad and you can see that it is a male flower because here under the flower is no fruit. So you can take this but of course not every male flower because the male flowers are there that the female flowers can make a fruit. When you look at this tomato plant you can see that there are so many fruits um, but <laughs> I'm sure I can't eat them because when you take a closer look you can see that the fruits have brown spots and that means that they have um, the brown root that means that this plant will die. Here you can take a closer look at the brown spots from the tomato plant. They are not only at the leaves brown, they are also at the steel brown. And this means that I can't save this plant. Here you can see the illness at the steel. When only the leaves are covered with the brown spots, you can cut away the leaves and maybe make a plant helper out of horsetail when you spray it fill with horsetail um, syrup but here there is nothing to do you can put out the plant complete and put it away in the trash not at the compost because all those bacteria can also stay in the ground and stay then in the compost and you will have this illness every year again so put it away so far as it possible and when some tomatoes can be ready, can be red, that happens that they pull out because they've got so, too much water and then they will rot in very fast. Here in the background you can see my beans. And right, yeah, you can see nothing. Because here at those hazelnut, um, where this is normally my construction for my beans, but there is nothing because the snails eat everything away. The rain, the continual rain this year damaged nearly everything. There was no week in the whole year where we had full sunshine. It rains actually every day. Not only in the evening when there is a thunderstorm which is normal in the summer. No, it rains the full day and sometimes there is a few hours like actually with sun but then again rain and this rain weather this wetness is perfect for the snails because they love this weather and they can't fight against them without poison i try so much i try coffee i try um, the egg cover i try uh, the wool from the sheep nothing really worked only poison but i can't put here poison because i have some wild animals here in the garden and of course the children and the dogs I cannot put poison here so it is every, everything is away and actually I am at the point where I don't have any joy with this anymore because everything what I've done every, every work every time that I put into this vegetable garden is for nothing actually because everything is rotten or away and actually I don't want to do anything this year in this vegetable garden. Maybe the weather changed complete the next time then I will do anything again but actually no. For what? For what? All those time I waste all those time because nothing is there that I can that I can um, harvest. Nothing. So I'm really pissed off actually. The only light blick actually is this watermelon. I try to harvest watermelons for several years but never it um, worked because I always plant the plants at my own and 
uh, put the seed into the ground and they are growing and everything was fine but they had no fruits and this year I bought a plant and finally I had a watermelon so I hope I can harvest this only thing then I would be happy normally you had you should grow your tomato plants into the glass house because they don't like to get water from um, up so they only like water from the ground and no rainwater but here in the glass house there is also a really wet air so I've got also rotten plants here inside yeah perfect I love it not this here is Elford it is an heel plant they used it in the past for cough but actually the plant is nearly forgotten and um, yeah they are they are not sure if it is good to use this plant as a heel plant or not but it has really beautiful flowers and I like to see them to watch them the plant is actually over two meters high but really really beautiful when it is really warm the salad is growing really high because they want to make flowers then and the most people put them away then but I let them grow because the one point is that I have beautiful flowers and the second point is that I have um, priceless seeds for the next year so I don't have to buy them in the next year this year are sweet potatoes I love to eat them um, the, the leaves are really beautiful so I love these plants I always have them into um, pots because then I can harvest them pretty easy but I don't can have them too, too long in the house because they are rotten pretty fast so maybe you have another meaning but this is my opinion that I can't um, have them long time in the house I hate you. Of course there is by the farm life not only shadow parts. There is also sunlight like you can see here. I've got three new little little lamps and I also have one bigger lamp. So this is always a moment of joy and happiness when you've got new animals, new babies. They are every time so cute but they grow so fast. Like you can see it here by this male. Yeah, yeah, schon gut. The female is always very angry when the lambs are so small because they want to protect it. So I don't have to go too close because otherwise she will attack me. This here is um, a male from last fall. He's really big now, but I love him. His name is Franzi, but I also call him. Um, Krampal, this is a Bavarian legend and he loved to cuddle like you can see and I love it too but I had to give you away hmm. there is no way the big male will don't, doesn't accept you anymore you want to cuddle longer and this is always going so close to the camera but I don't like it when you are close to my camera. Nah. This female sheep is called Tilly and this is my best one because she also loves to cuddle and she isn't aggressive when she had lamps so I can cuddle her, go close to her and her lamps are also very friendly like you can see it here at the male sheep Franzi sometimes at the farm life you are so aggressive and negative because nothing worked everything is damaged the vegetable garden is completely away because of the snails and the rain and last year the sheep are always running away and then was my oldest sheep so ill so this was a really hard time and actually it is also not so easy when I look into the vegetable garden and I see that there is nothing left because of the snails 
then I've got really depressive. But then when I come here to the meadow and I see the lambs are running over the meadow and playing with each other, then my heart go out again and I am happy again. So you had always to have the focus on the positive thing and then it works. Yeah, Franzi. I don't like it when the sheep are so close to the camera because two or three years ago I also make a farm live video and I put my camera close to the barn and then they suddenly run out and uh, my camera fell down and there was some damage over 400 euros. I think it was three or 400 euros. Yeah, and till this point I am really, um, yeah, I really take care about my camera equipment when the sheep are so close. Hmm? Hmm? You love it, right? When I cuddle the sheep, I always had such a slimy cover at my hands because of the lanolin, the fat which is in their skin. Then you don't need our hand cream anymore. Yeah, like you can see, my motivation is pretty away. I don't like to do anything in the vegetable garden for the next weeks. Um, when you put so much energy and time and you see there is nothing left, left this is really, really sad. So l things like chilies or tomato or paprika, they had to be planted in February and then you have them all the months into the house um, put them into a bigger space, uh, give them water, care, take care of them and then you put it outside and you see that everything is just rotten. This is so frustrating. I don't want to do anything at this space of the garden the next week. But there, like you see, there are also beautiful moments like the lamps. Um, yeah, and you just had to focus, to be focused at the positive thing and then there is always a way, always a new door which is open, which is open, a new day of sunshine, and then maybe everything is fine again. So I had no other way. I will do it longer, all the self-sufficiency and farm, because I had to do it and there is always another way. So if you are interested of any things of this video, you can let me know and I will make a separate video about this, this um, Team. So just let me know and write it in the comment. So thank you for watching and I hope we see us again in the next video. Have a great time. Bye bye.